Brethren, today we're going to be reading in the Robert Alter Bible series. Um, the Robert Alter Bible, how it, rather, um, we're going to be, re we haven't done it in a while, so I thought we should probably just get into the actual Word of God rather than dwell in the great leaders of the Christian church, and that was a fault on my part. But if you haven't already checked out the Genesis and the rest of Exodus that I've done, then go ahead. I'm not sure how many chapters we're going to read, we're just going to read till I stop. Or until it gets too long. But we're going to read starting in chapter 25. And the Lord spoke to Moses saying, Speak to the Israelites that they may take me a donation from every man. As his heart may urge him, you shall take my donation. And this is the donation that, uh, that you shall take from them. Gold and silver and bronze and indigo and purple and crimson and linen and goat hair and red and ram skins and um, ochre dyed skins and acacia wood, oils for the lamp, spices for the anointing oil, and for the ar aromatic incense, aromatic incense, carnelian stones and stones for st for setting in the ephod, and in the breastplate, and if they shall and they shall make me a tabernacle that I may abide in their midst, as I sh um. As all that I show you, the form of the tabernacle. Um, in the form of all its furnishings, thus shall you make it, and they shall make an ark of acacia wood, two and a half cubits its length, a cubit and a half of its width, and a cubit and a half its height, and you shall overlay it with pure gold, inside and outside you shall overlay it, and you shall make up a, upon it a golden molding all around, and you shall cast for it four golden rings, and set them on its four feet, and two rings on its one side, and two rings from the other side. And you shall make poles of acacia wood, and overlay them with gold. And you shall bring the poles through the rings on the side of the ark, to carry the ark with them. In the ark of the in the rings of the ark, the poles must be, they shall not come out. And you shall set in the ark of the, um, the ark, the tablets of the covenant that I will give you, and you shall make a cover um, of pure gold, two and a half cubits in its length, a cubit and a half its width. And you shall make two cherubim of gold, hammered work. You shall make them at the at the two edges of the cover, and make one cherub at one edge and one cherub at the other edge. From the cover, you shall make the cherubim at both its edges, and the cherubim shall spread its spread wings above, shielding the cover with their wings, and their faith to face towards each other, cut toward the cover of the faces of the cherubim shall be. And you shall set the covering upon the ark from above, and in the ark you shall set to the tablets of the covenant that I shall give you. And I shall meet you there and speak with you from above the covering between the two cherubim that are on the top of the ark of the covenant, all that I shall charge you regarding the Israelites. And you shall make a table of wood of acacia wood, two cubits in its length, and a cubit in its width, and a cubit of, of and a half in its height. And you shall overlay it with pure gold, and make for it a golden molding all around. And you shall make a frame for it, a hand breadth all around. And you shall make a golden molding for its frame all around. And you shall make four golden rings four gold rings for it, and set the rings at the four corners, which are it, at its four legs. Facing the frame, the rings shall be as housings for the poles to carry the table. And you shall make the poles of acacia wood, and overlay them with gold, and the table shall be carried with them. And you shall make its bowls, and its shovels, and its jars, and its chalices, from which libation is done. Pure gold you shall make them. And you shall set them on the table the um on the table the bread of the presence before me perpetually. And you shall make a lamp of pure gold, hammered work it shall be made, its base and its shafts, its cups, its calyxes and its blossoms shall be from that work. And six shafts going from its side, three shafts of the lampstand from its one side, and three shafts of the lampstand from its other side. Three cups shaped like almond blossoms in one shaft calyx and blossoms, three cups shaped like almond blossoms in the other shaft, calyx and blossoms, thus for the six, six shafts that go out from the lampstand. 
And on the lampstand, four cups, shaped like almond blossoms, their calyxes and their blossoms. And a calyx is a part of it under every two shafts. A calyx is a part of it under every two shafts for the six shafts coming out from the lampstand. Their calyxes and their shafts shall be part of it, all of it one hammered work, pure gold. And you shall make its seven lamps, and its, lev and its lamps shall be mounted and give light in front of it, and its tongs and its firepans, pure gold. With a talent of pure gold shall it be made together with all these furnishings. And see, and make it by their pattern which you are shown in the mountain. Chapter 26 In the tabernacle you shall make with ten panels of twisted linen, and indigo and purple and crimson, with cherubim, designer's work you shall make them. And the length of the panel is twenty-eight cubits, with a width of four cubits to the one panel, a single measure, um, a single measure all for all the panels. Five of the panels shall be joined to each other, and the other five joined to each other. And you shall make indigo loops along the edge of the outermost panel in the set. And thus shall you, you shall do, um, thus shall you do on the edge of the outermost panel in the other set. Fifty loops you shall make in one panel, and fifty loops you shall make in the outermost panel, which is in the other set, the loops opposite one another. And you shall make fifty golden clasps, um, and you shall join the panels to one another with the clasps, that the tabernacle be one whole. You shall make goat hair panels, a tent over the tabernacle. Eleven panels you shall make them. The length of the one panel, thirty cubits, and a width of four cubits to the panel, a single measure for the eleven panels. You shall join five of the panels by themselves and six of the panels by themselves. And you shall double over the sixth panel at the front of the tent. And you shall make fifty loops along the outer e along the edge of the outermost panel in one set, and fifty loops um, along the edge of the outermost panel in the other set. And you shall make fifty bronze clasps, and bring the clasps through the hoops, and you shall join the tent that it become one whole. And the overhang left in the ten panels, half of the leftover panels you shall let hang over the tabernacle, over the back of the tabernacle. And the cubit on one side and the cubit on the other side is what is um in what is left over in the length of the tent panels shall hang over both sides of the tabernacle to cover it. And you shall make a covering for the tent of reddened ram skins and a covering of ochre dyed skins above. And you shall make boards for the tabernacle of acacia wood upright, ten cubits the length of the board and a cubit and a half the width of the single board. Two tens and one board linked together to each other, thus you shall do for all the boards of the tabernacle. And you shall make the boards for the tabernacle, twenty boards for the southern end, and forty silver sockets you shall make beneath the twenty boards, two sockets beneath the one for its two tenons, and two sockets beneath the other for its two tenons. And the other side of the tabernacle at the northern end, twenty boards, and there are forty silver sockets, two sockets beneath one board, and two sockets beneath the other board. And at the rear of the tabernacle to the west you shall make six boards. And, the two, and two boards you shall make for the corners of the tabernacle at the rear end. And they shall match below, and together they shall end at the top inside the one ring. Thus it shall be for the two of them. At the two corners they shall be. And there shall be eight boards with their silver sockets, sixteen sockets, two sockets beneath one board and two sockets beneath the next. And you shall make crossbars of acacia wood, five for the boards of one side of the tabernacle, and five for the boards of the other side of the tabernacle, and five crossboards, crossbars for the side of the tabernacle at the rear to the west. In the central crossbar, um, in the middle of the board shall shoot through the from it. Shoot through from end to end, and the boards you shall overlay with gold, and their rings you shall make of gold, housings for crossbars, and you shall overlay the crossbars with gold. And you shall set up the tabernacle according to the fashion of it that you were shown upon the mountain. And you shall make a curtain of indigo, and, a pur and of purple, and of crimson, and of twisted, twisted lin linen, designer's work it shall be made, with cherubim. 
and you shall set it on four acacia posts overlaid with gold, their hooks gold, upon four silver sockets. And you shall set the curtain under clasps, and you shall bring there, within the curtains, the Ark of the Covenant. In curtains shall, and, and the curtain shall divide for you between the holy and the holies of holies. And you shall set the cover over the Ark of the Covenant and the holy of holies. And you shall put the tablet outside the curtain and the lamp stand facing the table on the side of the tabernacle to the south. And a table you shall set on the northern side. And you shall make a screen for the entrance of the tent, indigo and purple and crimson, and twist and linen, embroiderer's work. And you shall make for the screen five acacia posts, and you shall overlay them with gold, their, hook, their hooks gold, and you shall cast for them five bronze sockets. Chapter 27 And you shall make an altar of acacia wood, five cubits in length and five cubits in width. The altar shall be square, and three cubits in its height. And you shall make its horns on its four corners, the, from the same piece of its horns shall be, and you shall overlay it with bronze. And you shall make it its pails for its ashes, and its shovels, and its basins, and its flesh hooks, and its fire hands. All its vessels you shall make of bronze. And you shall make it for a meshwork grating of bronze. Um, and you shall um, make on the mesh four bronze wings at its four, rings at its four corners. And you shall set it beneath the ledge of the altar from below, and the mesh shall come halfway upon the altar. And you shall make the poles for the altar, poles of acacia wood, um, and overlay them with bronze. And its poles shall be brought through the rings, and the poles shall be on the two sides of the altar when it is carried. Hollow bordered, hollowed, hollow bordered you shall make it, as he showed you on the mountain. Thus they shall do. And you shall make um, the tabernacle court on the southern side. There shall be hangings for the court of twisted linen, a hundred cubits in, l in length for one side. And its posts shall be twenty, in their sockets twenty, of bronze. The hook for the posts, and their bands of sh shall be of silver. And thus for the northern side, in the length, in length the hangings shall be a hundred cubits, and its posts twenty, and their sockets twenty, of bronze. And the hooks for their posts of silver. And the width of the cord on the western side, fifty cubits of hangings, their posts shall be ten and their sockets ten. And width of the cords on the very east, fifty cubits, and, and fifteen cubits of hangings for the flank, and there their posts three and their sockets three. And for the other flank, fifteen cubits of hangings, their posts three and their sockets three. And for the gate of the court of a, a screen of twenty cubits, indigo and purple and crimson and twisted linen, embroiderer's work, their posts four and their sockets four. All the posts around the court shall be banded in silver, their hooks silver and their sockets bronze. The length of the court, a hundred cubits, and the, fifth, and the width fifty throughout, and the height of five cubits, twisted linen, and their sockets bronze. So for all the vessels of the tabernacle and all its service and all its pegs and all it and all the pegs of the courts shall be bronze. As for you, you shall command the Israelites that they take you clear oil and beaten olive for the light to kindle a lamp perpetually. In the tent of meeting outside the curtain which is over the ark of the covenant, Aaron with his son shall lay it out from evening to morning before the Lord, an everlasting statute for your generations, incumbent incumbent on the Israelites.